Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, we'll be talking about the problem of weekly contest. Uh, the weekly contest is three to five, and the problem that we are going to talk is number of great partitions. Okay, so let's try to read this problem first. You are given an array nums consisting of positive integers and an integer k. You have to partition the array into two ordered groups such that each element is in exactly one group. Okay, a partition is called great if the sum of the elements of the each group is greater than or equal to k. So it means that the two groups that you are partitioning it must have the sum greater than or equal to k. You have to return the number of distinct great partitions that you can have, and the answer can be very large. So you need to return it modulo with this prime number. Two partitions are considered distinct if some element nums of i is in different groups and uh, in the two partitions. Okay. So uh, let's try to understand this one first. So uh, what we are having is we have uh, we have to divide this array into two partitions p1 and p2 such that sum of p1 should be greater than or equal to k and sum of this p2 should be greater than or equal to k. Okay. Now uh, you can see if you look uh, if you try to work it straight forward and you have this nums of i is 10 raised to the power 9 maximum value and nums of length and k is going to be uh, less than or equal to 1000. If you try to find out all those suitable partitions which satisfy this criteria and this criteria, this is going to be very much hectic because k is going to be greater than or equal to like sum of p1, sum of p1 or p2 is going to be greater than or equal to k and k has the maximum value 1000 or it can even be 1 or it can be even be any integer from 1 to 1000, let's say it is 1000 and sum can be greater than or equal to k and nums of i is 10 raised to the power 9 so uh, it becomes a lot of integers and to compute that it is going to be very much difficult so we'll try to work in a reverse uh, manner so what is the reverse manner is our answer is coming out to be total subsets total subsets subtracted by invalid ways okay invalid ways okay so what is the total subset it is nothing but 2 raised to the power n minus invalid ways so how do we compute this invalid ways where sum of p1 is less than or like the valid ways sum p1 should be greater than or equal to k sum p2 should be greater than or equal to k for some suitable partition and the invalid way is going to be something like this invalid way is going to be like sum of p1 is going to be less than k or sum of p2 is going to be less than k like if any of the two condition is going to be uh, satisfied like or the both condition may be satisfied if any of this condition is satisfied you can say yeah so we have this uh, this partition is going to be invalid okay so le first, uh, first let's try to write down a general case if sum of the actual array is going to be less than uh, k plus k which is 2k since uh, what we want is the partition should be uh, like sum p1 and p2 should be greater than or equal to k and we have this sum p1 plus sum p2 should be greater than or equal to k plus k if we add up this two condition we we'll get this one so if we get the sum of the entire array which is less than 2k then our answer is obviously zero okay so uh, we will try to write down the general case to find out the total number of invalid ways Okay, so we'll try to find out the invalid ways using a dynamic programming. So we'll try to define the state of the DP as DP of IJ, where the total number of ways, total number of ways to get sum J for first I elements. Okay. So uh, the DP of IJ will be uh, something like this total number of ways to get some J for the first I elements. Remember that uh, our answer would be like our answer for the invalid way would be something like this sum of DP of N J for every value of J belong to 0 to K. Remember that we, uh, we are not supposed to find out the for the k uh, like uh, for j as equal to k because the sum of p1 should be greater than or equal to k if you do it reverse 
then uh, invalid way is going to be less than k not uh, like equal to sign should not come okay so our answer is dp of ng uh, for every value of j that is belonging to 0 to k minus 1 remember that this is not the actual invalid way so invalid way is going to be two times of this sum because i'm just multiplying it with two because if you look up this way of partitioning some p1 less than k or some p2 less than k if you are able to choose one of the partition as some p1 less than k there is another way you can choose that partition for the uh, for the other way like if you choose it for p1 you are also you can also choose it for p2 there are two possible ways that's why i'm multiplying it with with the factor of 2 so there are two uh, possible ways either you choose it for p1 or you choose it for p2 there are two possible ways okay so dp of ij is going to be total number of ways to get some j for the first i elements okay so let's try to frame the dp condition so dp of ij will be equal to dp of suppose uh, we we don't choose current element in the uh, partition that we are trying to form okay so we will say dp of i minus 1 j dp of ij will be the sum of dp of i minus j this will be not choosing current element in partition if you don't choose the current element in partition dp of ij will be dp of i minus j uh, like the ways for dp of i minus 1j plus dp of if we choose the current element in the partition it will be dp of i minus 1 j minus uh, nums of i okay so if we choose the current element in this partition we have to sum up all these one okay now you can see we are doing for the partition p1 only like we are uh, keeping the invalid ways for the p1 only and since it can be for the p2 also that's why we are just multiplying it with the factor of 2 okay so we have to build this dynamic programming table uh, sequentially starting from the base case okay so what will be our base case remember that we are making a size of dp of n plus 1 and uh, let's say we are making for the k plus 1 our answer will be 2 times of sum of dp of n0 plus dp of n1 and it goes on sub something like this dp of n into k minus 1 okay we uh, we are not supposed to uh, include dp of nk because the, we are including the invalid ways okay so uh, remember that our base case is going to be something like this dp of 0 uh, it it will be something like this for every value of uh, i that is belonging to 0 to n dp of i 0 will be equal to 1 so this is our base case okay so and we start to uh, fill up the dynamic programming table with the help of uh, this uh, relation and our answer actual answer will be uh, something uh, this uh, this uh, statement total subsets minus invalid ways and our invalid way is nothing but this one two times of sum of dp of nj for every value of j that belongs to uh, 0 to k okay 0 to k minus 1 remember that it should go to up to k minus 1 so let's look out for the code how it can be efficiently implemented we have n as nums dot size and we have mod as this 10 raised to the power 9 plus has first we will try to compute the total sum if total sum is less than 2k there is no suitable partition we will return 0 otherwise we will try to build this dp table which will calculate the invalid ways ok so dp of ij will denote the number of ways let me write down over here if that is getting too complex for you dp of i j is number of uh, invalid ways if we have first i elements and sum as j okay so we'll start from i0 and it goes up to i less than equal to n and uh, similarly j0 to jk so if i is 0 and j is also 0 so we'll say dp of ij will be 1 okay or, or, or we can do something like this also uh, let's say we are just saying if j is only 0 you can say dp of ij will be 1 if i is positive and j is positive we'll just say dp of ij will be dp of i minus 1 j if you don't choose the don't choose the 
करंट एलिमेंट इन पार्ट इन इन द पार्टीशन ओके Uh, if j is greater than or equal to nums of i, we can choose the current element in the partition. So d p of i j will be plus equal to d p of i minus one uh, and j minus nums of i minus one. This is a standard subset sum problem type of variation. You can easily understand. So uh, let's uh, find out the invalid ways. So we'll iterate from zero to k minus one and we'll add up all the ways. And you need to take care with the modulus sign also. Remember that our invalid ways will be multiplied by two because uh, we can place uh, the current set of ways for the p1 as well as for the p2. Okay, so we have two possible ways. So our total ways is uh, two raised to the power n. So we'll just compute total ways something like this. Iterate from one to n and multiply the total ways uh, which is initialized with one each time with the fact each time with the uh, value two. We'll get two raised to the power n. So our answer is total ways minus invalid ways. We need to take care with the modulus sign also, and finally we'll be returning the answer. Okay, so let's try to submit this code and check it out if that works well. Yeah. So the time complexity is O of n into k because uh, of this uh, computation. Dp of uh, uh, we are filling the dp table and space complexity is also dp of uh, space complexity is also O of n into k. Remember that it can be optimized also for O of k space. And uh, like, if you are willing to do that, yeah, you can do that as well for the practice. So, if you have any doubts, you can reach out to me in the comment section of the video. And thank you for watching this video.